Hello, my friends. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Marcio. Have you ever heard about the Java programming language? In this video, I'll give you guys my top 10 reasons why you should learn Java in 2023. And please stick until the end so you won't miss out. Let's get started. The reason number one is Java's high popularity and also high salaries. Java is one of the most popular programming languages in the whole world. Nowadays, I believe uh, there are around 7 million Java programmers and those programs, they run around in 9 billion devices. It is a lot. It's kind of mind blowing. And this is also according to the Oracle blogs. And because of this high demand for Java programmers or Java developers, there is this push for paying more. And also it's a kind of really hot market to get into uh, on the next year. Another good point is that enterprises across many different fields, they all use Java, including those famous FANG companies they all use Java as well. Reason number two, Java is an easy language to learn. Yeah, I know many people <laughs> will be surprised with my statement here, but this is the reason why Java is so popular. Oh, another reason why Java is so popular. That's because it is really easy to learn the programming language and to learn the basics of the language. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys an example. It's quite simple. It's a class which has a static method and to print something. It's quite simple. As you guys can see, this code here, it reads pretty much like English. So that's easy to read and to understand, especially whenever we are working on a large project. So that's another plus. Anyone can basically get started in one day with Java. It doesn't require it too much. And anyone can simply build something over the weekend as well. As a quick start, it, it is really simple and easy to get started with Java. Basic things people should learn are code structure, just like the one I showed you guys, data types, and control flow. These are uh, the most useful things to anyone to start learning Java. Number three, Java has a strong and huge community. I believe this is one of the biggest strengths of Java, their community. Um, you can go anywhere and you find a Java group. Can it be on Stack Overflow, can be on LinkedIn, or any other social platform, such as GitHub. Uh, pretty much anywhere, there will be a Java group ready to help people. And also this community also helps from beginners until advanced people. So there will always be help available for any kind of problems you may face. And yeah, I myself have found lots of people that were willing to help me. And I also have helped a lot of people as well. There is always this feeling of giving it back to the community. And that's also why there are so many open source projects for Java as well. Reason number four is Java has a very rich set of APIs. There are pretty much one API for anything you want to do in Java, such as accessing a database, reading or write to a file system, networking, working on a collection of data, multi threading, media, XML, JSON, and a lot of other stuff. So Java is quite rich on its APIs and it offers a lot of things out of the box and we don't have to or we are not obligated to pick any open source or any third-party library if we don't want to. Reason number five, Java has multiple open source libraries. I could spend hours here just listing all of them, but I'm just going to list a few of them, such as Guava, Commons, JHipster, Spring Framework, Spring Boot, Hibernate, and lots of other very useful tools to help us building better software. So all of these open source libraries, they make the development easier, cheaper, and also faster. Reason number six, Java has powerful development tools. It's well known that Java has lots of very useful tooling, such as IDEs, Eclipse, IntelliJ, NetBeans, and lots of other stuff. Also building tools like Maven, Gradle, also profiling tools. All of these tools, they, they play a significant role on helping the developers to develop better software. Reason number seven, Java is a object-oriented programming language. That is really, really good. Some people don't like the OO paradigm, but I personally like it. It is really easy and simple to structure our code and classes and members such as in a way it makes it easy to maintain that code and to extend as well. We can work with inheritance, interfaces, making our code extremely extensible using the OO concept. 
So it's a big win. Reason number eight is Java is platform independent. I believe it was the first platform to have this feature. Once you write code in Java, we can run that code pretty much in anywhere. Just need to install the JDK and we can simply run our code in any machine, in any platform that is supported by Java. And this is the so-called water or write once run anywhere, which is different or was different from the proposal of the old programming languages, such as C, C++, where the developer needed to compile every single time they needed to go to a new platform. There was a build for Windows, another build for Unix, another build to any other platform. Java offers a cross-platform natively for us. Reason number nine, Java has great documentation. So you can go online to the Oracle website, or there are many websites that they tell about the Java docs, or they offer tutorials and language specifications and so on and so forth. There is no shortage of documentation and also from information about the Java programming language and also about the Java platform. So it's a very rich and well-documented language and platform. And reason number 10, Java is a very versatile programming language. What I mean about that is we can write Java code for pretty much anything, ranging from desktop to web to server side, Android and more platforms. It's a really rich language and a rich set of APIs that allows us to write code for pretty much anything we want. These are the top 10 reasons I gave you guys about why you should learn the Java programming language in 2023. Remember, don't miss it out. It's a great opportunity. There are lots of jobs out there and Java developers are in high demand. So keep on it. I'll see you guys next time.